Hi everyone, it's Christian, and I want to give you an overview of a Paralab experiment. A Paralab experiment is a suite of tools that show you how people prioritize ideas. And by prioritize, I mean two things. So first, how a group of people, and, and even segments within that group, rank order ideas from their most preferred to their least. And secondly, by how much they prefer each of those ideas over the others. Why do we need both? You know, why not just rank order? Isn't that typically how we usually do it? Yeah, that, that is typically how we usually do it, but we can do better because by knowing both preference and passion behind the preference, it helps us make better decisions. Okay, so let's let's look at the three tools that together make up a pair lab experiment. And by the way, in other videos, I'm gonna go into greater detail for each one of these. So you know, this is just an overview on, on this page. And this page is the My Experiments page. And it's, it's really the launch page, kind of a dashboard for experiments. So on this page, we see a list of experiments we've created. And we also see when each one was created, whether that you know any, any one of these particular ones you have listed is is open or closed to survey participants, and we also have uh, links that access the tools in an experiment. We also have links to help. So if you ever need help here or on any one of these other pages, and you see this info icon, you can click it, and a pop up comes up in the uh, one of the lab managers. That's that's uh, one of our lab managers there in the in the sort of upper left corner, holding the light bulb, is there to help you through that you know help on on that particular thing. You also see some best practices, and you might see some examples on on how to do uh, that particular thing. So take a look for these uh, these pop ups with the lab managers on one. The experiments we see here are created by default for new accounts. These video tours and the help pop-ups will reference this one we see here, this favorite ice cream flavors demo, uh, which was created to help you learn Paralab. And so if this is your first time on Paralab and you see that, you'll learn how to use Paralab uh, by going through it. And it's fun, especially when you see the results from your friends and your family. So please check that out. And, and kind of speaking of fun, yeah, if you want to throw emojis in here, various spots, you, you certainly can do that. Sometimes they, they really are a, a help. So let's take a look at each of the operations for an experiment. And that, that's over here under operations. And the first one we have is survey config. And this is where we set up the question and ideas that we want to test. The second one is check data. And on check data, we look for problems in the responses from our survey participants to be sure that we are going to produce some accurate results. So it's really what it really is. It's a, it's a way to scrub data because what you're going to find in parallel certainly shows you where the data you get might be flawed for any number of reasons. So that can help you kind of get rid of that so your your results are, are right on. And then finally, there are results, and that's where you see the data. And that, those results are actually produced in, in real time. It kind of actually can be fun as you launch an experiment and you, you give it to your survey participants to like periodically check in on the results, and you can see them change over time as they do their uh, their voting on the challenges. So it's, it's kind of cool. I, I like doing that myself. So finally, uh, on this My Experiments page, we have this big green button. This is where you create an experiment. Actually, why don't I just do that? And then I create an experiment, and what I get is an experiment. I don't want to uh, let the cat out of the bag. You can watch the video tour for that one. But if I go back to My Experiments, and you can do that by clicking on this button up here. Here's the new one that I just created, and it has this long kooky name with the date and the time and, and an ID. But you get to change that, and that's for another video. For now, that's an overview of Paralab experiments.